today. Good morning. It is uh, 40 minutes past nine o'clock and we welcome to the show a uh, guest of ours. It is uh, Brian Hilton. He is from Total Wood Preservative, uh, courtesy of our friends at Mills Fleet Farm up yep. in the Ankeny area. And uh, we are here talking about uh, what a lot of people are talking about nowadays, decks, uh, about your party patio area. Jackie, this, these are the things you want to party on. Not a great day to probably be working on your deck today with the rain coming please down. Don't but stain it today. Yeah, <laughs> please don't stain it today. Please don't stain today. That's the, that's the big message. But a lot of people wanting to, uh, I would assume summertime, the best mm -hmm. time to make some upgrades to your deck. Sure. Okay, sure. so uh, TWP available at Mills Fleet Farm, right? And you have a product here that is just for new deck construction, or what's it for? You can do for both new and old deck, fence, log homes on it. Uh, and what TWP is is it's totally wood preservative, actually. So we actually, besides staining your deck, like most products do, we actually actually help preserve the deck. And so, what does it do different than just somebody that's going to paint a deck, for example? Well, uh, we actually penetrate into the wood and become part of the deck, part of the wood. So then the wood can expand and contract. You don't have to worry about it uh, peeling, chipping, cracking. It's, we actually become part of the deck. And with the preservative, we actually help preserve the oils that are in the deck. So it extends the life of your wood, your fence, whatever. And so, you, you know, the investment of a, of a wood deck is a lot of money, and you don't want it to be out there deteriorating, turning gray. Yeah, let's take a look, and you're showing how it uh, looks like you're, you're putting the product on a deck that has already been installed. Well, what we're doing there is we're power washing the deck. You've got to make sure the deck is ready to take stain. So if it's an old deck, you've got to take uh, the uh, coatings off of it. you got to take the... Uh, Brighteners, if there's a, a user brightener, if it's turned gray, if it's got a stain, you got to take the old stain off of it and get it ready to go. So you've got to basically have a, 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 a wood surface there. It's got to be raw a, wood. Right. A clean palette. Yeah. Exactly. Clean palette is really important on it because if you don't have a clean, the product, and I don't care if it's ours or anybody, it's not going to penetrate. And you've got to get it to penetrate or it's just going to sit on top and then it'll start flaking off and then nobody's happy. Well, and frankly, you don't want to have to do this every other year. I mean, you, you want it to last a, a long time, and, and the preparation is part of that, but I imagine that the product is too. And, and our product is a two to three year product. Mm -hmm. uh, the nice thing about once you do the prepping of, of cleaning the deck, brightening the deck, then when you get ready to restain in two or three years, our product, you just rinse it off and put another coat on. You don't okay. have so to, you don't have to all go through the whole process again? No, that's so the difference. So it's kind of good to do it right the first time. Oh, yeah, your, your time, your labor is your biggest thing. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the time of doing it is what you're going to spend, but the time of getting it ready to go really takes a lot. Is there a certain point where you're like, you know what, this I really just can't do anything to this deck anymore. I just need to get a new one, or pretty much any deck can have a little bit of life put back into it. As long as the wood is structurally sound, that's where you get in a point. You got to make sure the wood hasn't deteriorated so much that whether you put a coating on or not, it's still deteriorating. And so you want to make sure it's safe. And, that, and that's really uh, important to check. And you'll know if the wood is really spongy. You know, you've probably seen an oh, old piece yeah. of wood. Time to put a new piece of wood. You don't have to do the whole deck. You can just put a new different pieces of wood. To, to now you brought some okay. wood with you. What did you bring with you? Well, what I brought is to show people this is what their deck usually looks like. Uh, it's gray. You know, you haven't, right. you haven't stained it. And then we recommend to use a brightener or a cleaner. Uh, you can use an oxalic acid. Um, and Mill sells all those those products. And then you want to brighten it after you after you clean it. So you're going to take the mold, the mildew off up here. If the deck's on the north side, you're going to get probably a little bit of mildew. Get that cleaned off. And then this is what it looks like. And we say it's just it looks almost like a new deck. Look at a new you, piece this of wood. Is, this wood and this wood is the same wood on there. That is ready to stain. Does it matter this, if it's cedar, green treated, redwood? Not with our product, no. Okay. It, it, it'll work on all the products, all the different types of woods. Even if it's so-called pre-treated wood? Right, okay. yeah, because pre-treated wood, after a year or two, turns gray. It, right. The penetrations and the treatment's inside the wood, but it's not on top of the wood, and it'll turn gray. You'll clean it. It'll come back looking like this, and then you put your stain on it. And gotcha. It brings a bit, deck, looks like a brand new deck mm -hmm. on there. And the nice thing about our product is that uh, our colors use transoxide pigments. And what that means is it's a translucent pigment so that you can still see the wood grain. It's not paint. And that's, that's so people like to see that wood grain. You can see some mm -hmm. different pictures of our product there. I think you've got some of your colors there. Um, yeah, and this oh, is just our palette. The other one. Okay. This is what the palette looks like. So you can see every one of these boards, you can see the wood grain. It's, it's just the different colors. You know, sort of to taste to match your house or match your uh, decor of your backyard. And method of application, what is the, the method that you suggest? Uh, we, we recommend uh, either a pump-up sprayer or a brush or a good staining pad. 
and not really a roller pad. Just, a roller pad doesn't put enough on because our oh, product. Oh really? I didn't realize that. He actually rolls it back up because oh, the stain. It you up. want it to flow in and you want it to penetrate into the wood and fill the wood fiber up. If wood wood is called cellulose and it's like a million straws. And so what we're doing is we're filling those straws up with okay. stain. Like this guy here. Yep, he's standing that seems right an there. Easy way to do it. Now, do you have to do the underside and everything like that as well, or just not the really? Because it's not exposed. What breaks the now, wood? Now, what's he down? doing here now? Is he's leveling out the stain? Oh, so you 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 would brush it afterwards too? I didn't realize right. you did that. Yeah, okay. yeah. You you level light, make sure it doesn't puddle, and then it's ready to go. And you say every what two to three years? Two to three years horizontal, vertically five to eight years. Wow. And you know what the difference is? You're not walking on it. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah. it's, 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 the water sitting on it, but it's water you're not sitting on it. And see what happens is the water bubble, you know, beads up, and then the sunlight comes on her, and that's like a million magnifying glasses on your, on your deck, penetrating and forcing that, sure, intensifying, intensifying the sun going in there. Breaking the wood down. So what you're saying is, after it rains, I got to get the kids out there with towels and get that no, off of there. No, no, it'll, it'll beat up and it'll 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 rinse off. It'll rinse if off. you want to, though, you could. Yeah. A little slip and slide. Got to keep them know. busy. <laughs> so that's that's what Jason will do at his yeah. place. No. But all right. So if you want more information on this, our friends over at Mills Fleet Farm, they have everything that you need. They have all yep. your products and all the different colors. Of course, it's over on Delaware and Ankeny. Easy to get to. Uh, you know, there's the, the exit that's right there. You get off of there. Get off at what Corporate Woods, and boom, you're right there. Right. That's uh, great. On, on I-30. But again, the product is called TWP. Right. Total Wood Preservative. Mm -hmm. And our slogan is, why just stain your deck when you can preserve it? We're well, one of the only preservative deck stains out in the country. Is there a day that's better to do it than others? Like uh, When it's not raining. Uh, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> but really, it, it, in the morning, you know, don't try to do it in the afternoon when it's 95 degrees. It's just going to be too hot. You want to do it in a cool morning. And then make sure the deck is dry and let that sit for, once you've stained it, you can use the deck the next day. So it's not like you're going to take your deck out of use for out three or four days. Yeah. Okay. 24 hours, you can lightly and walk on it. Two days, put your furniture back And how on. rain okay. fast? Of course, obviously, you want to make sure you watch the weather. So it's, it's not going to rain that night if you stain it. 24 again. hours is what we like. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I've had it quicker than that <laughs> on my personal deck. <laughs> the weather, weatherman let me down. <laughs> we never do Jason, that. Jason, you're not supposed to do never. that. Brian Hilton, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Appreciate, much. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank, thank you so you much. Man. It is 11 minutes before 10 o'clock. When we come back, we'll let you know all the great things happening in town. We have birthdays to get to, too, people celebrating on the 28th of July. We'll tell you who those people are next on Great Day.